What's up, everybody? I'm Sly, the movie guy, and here's my movie review of The Five Bloods, directed by Spike Lee, starring Chadwick Boozman, Delroy Lindo, Clark Peters, Isaiah Whitlock Jr., Norm Lewis, Jonathan Majors, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, four African American vets battled the forces of man and nature when they returned to Vietnam seeking the remains of their fallen squad leader and the gold fortune he helped them hide. I find Spike Lee a very underrated director in Hollywood. Films like Malcolm X, Do the Right Thing, Inside Man, Black Klingsman. I think he did a fantastic job with those films. And personally, one of my favorite films of his. So I highly recommend you checking those films out if you haven't seen them yet. And I think he just puts a lot of heart and effort in the films that he's directing. And all I can say is he does it once again. Wow. This is a freaking phenomenal film. After... Like when it was ending, when it was as it was ending, I was like, "Wow, this film is just great." I was floored. This was absolutely amazing. I mean, this, but this is probably like one of my favorite Spike Lee films, and probably like one of my favorite films of 2020, easily. Like maybe like top three. This is absolutely freaking fantastic. I mean, wow. I was just, I was so, I was surprised. I mean, after I watched the movie, I was just like, "Wow." Let me let me get on to the positives because there's a lot of good things about this film. Let me start off with the story. The story was very unique because, for one, it wasn't like a full-fledged ac action war film. It wasn't like that. And that's the one thing that really surprised me as I was watching the film. It was more drama and stuff. So, it, and I love drama films. I I mean, I'll watch a, I can watch a drama film any day. I'm a sucker for them. They just, and when I was watching the film, I was like, this is more of a drama film. But I was really invested because the way how they had our four African-American veterans talking and stuff when they meet each other in the very beginning of the film. And then they talk to each other, talk about the stuff that happened to them in the past and stuff. I was really into that because since they were vet, vet, war, war veterans, I can picture them out as they were talking about their backstory and stuff picture on my head what all happened to them in the past and stuff and I was like okay I kind of can picture that what they went through and stuff and how they were treated and stuff I thought all those things really worked and the war stuff in this film are flashbacks and I thought it was executed properly well in this film I mean because I already like I already heard the backstory of these characters now when the flashback stuff of the war and stuff where the actual war where they were, were shooting with guns and stuff when that comes into play throughout the film I was like, wow, I'm getting more of the story. So it put a smile on my face because I'm like, I already know what the backstory of these characters. And when that comes in, it absolutely played throughout the film very well. I mean, it flowed through the story. When the flashbacks comes in, it don't feel like it was jarring, like feel out of place in the film. Because usually when it comes to like war movies or anything, drama or mystery films, usually flashback scenes usually be like jarring and feel out of place in films but that was not this film was not like that it really worked well and i did not feel like like i didn't couldn't find a single flaw out of it so i was watching it trying to see can i find a flaw and and it was just flowed perfectly and i was just like wow this was amazing so it really worked well the dialogue was great in this film everything about this things with it everything about the flashback and the the backstory stuff really paid off Directing and writing in this film, starting with the directing, Spike Lee did a phenomenal job directing this film. You can really see it, that this guy really put the heart and effort in this film. I mean, Spike Lee, I don't think he gets enough credit the films he directs. I mean, he did a fantastic job. I can really tell that Spike Lee was, like, giving it his all when he was directing this film. And the thing about uh, the me watching, like, all his films and stuff, he really, like puts it like in your face like he really showing you this is it like really makes it like realistic i mean this film was just so realistic i mean the when the, when the war stuff like i said with the flashback stuff but the way the war stuff was going like the blood and stuff it looks so real and spike lee always add the violence in his film makes him look very real and he just like goes for it and the things i like about what spike lee does in this film add the stuff like in our today's world, like from the past or re like past or recent years and stuff, he added that in this film, and I thought that really worked well in this film, and I thought he did a fantastic job putting that together in this film. He did a fantastic job directing, man.
I'll give you two thumbs up for Spike Lee. He did a fantastic job with this film. The writers get a lot of credit because this film, since it was like this was like, since I said it was like a drama more than a than a war film and stuff, which there's war stuff involved, like I said, with the flashback. But the writers get credit because there was like five, six. I think there's like five writers in this film. Let me know who those writers were in the comment section. But they did a fantastic job. I mean, they were, I mean, like I said, five writers. Usually when I look at a film and it has five writers, usually don't that don't turn out well. But that's not the case here. This film does a fantastic job with that. The writers did great. Two thumbs up for the directing and writing. Now the acting in this movie. Everybody did a freaking phenomenal job in this movie. I mean, their acting performances were just so powerful with our, with our main characters in this film. I mean, you felt the emotions were there, everything. It was just so good. I mean, it did not feel fake at all. Just felt real. I mean, Chadwick Bosman did a fantastic job. Isaiah Whitlock Jr., the Clark Peters. Everybody, they did a fantastic job. But the one that really stuck out to me the most that really went all out and his performance is probably the best I've seen in 2020. Out of all the films I've seen in 2020, this to me was the best acting I've seen this year, and that was Delroy Lindo. Oh my God, wow. Woo! His performance was absolutely amazing. I mean, this right now, if I was to say like best performance by actor in 2020, He's number one for me. His acting was just so good. I mean, he really, I mean, this guy was just like, he was like informed of character. I mean, it just felt so real. I mean, I get his backstory, what he's been through and stuff, and his relationship with his son, played by Jonathan Majors. It was just, it, it was so good. I mean, throughout the movie, I felt everything about this character i mean everything like his emotions his the, the character everything it was just so good it 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 fit in the movie it did not feel out of place usually acting feel out of place but in this movie it worked it just worked all the acting worked in this movie like i said i couldn't find a single flaw out of the acting at all it was just so well done i mean but man Delroy lindo he was just so freaking fantastic i mean like i said number one best acting for in 2020 he was just so good man cinematography absolutely looks good in this film like i said the real the realistic vibe of this movie it really paid off the cinematography looks really good i mean everything in this film was great i mean there, there was nothing wrong with it and the film does great on hitting you on the emotional level i mean through the first and second act, especially in the third act in the film, they definitely hit you on it. I mean, I'm not going to get any spoilers, but man, there's things that happened in the third act of the film that has left me like, oh, it just, I couldn't believe it. It was just like the things that was like, was happening, you didn't like, it was just surprising stuff. You just like, oh me. So it really got me. And I'm pretty sure if once you watch it, you, you know what I'm talking about, but the people that have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. It just... It just really gets you. I mean, it hits you right here, and you just like, oh man, it just you didn't expect it to happen, and it they did a fin freaking phenomenal job on it in this film. I think everything in this film really works well. I mean, I really don't, I really, I couldn't find any negatives about the film. If there was maybe a little like the the one negative I can might hear out people when they view this film is the runtime. And usually some Spike, like Spike Lee films, they're like two hours long, like two hours, 30 or 40 minutes. This film is like two hours, 35 minutes. I can see some people saying that their complaint would be like the film is too long. But for me, I didn't find like a problem out of that because throughout the movie, since I got like backstory and the, the war and stuff and the journey they were going on during, the, during Vietnam, I was just, I was just invested throughout the movie. And I, in the, in the runtime, I wasn't affected by it at all. So I was like, I was invested throughout the movie with the character dialogue and all that stuff. So it, like I said, it didn't bother me at all. So I couldn't find a flaw out of that at all. So I was just like, and as I was watching, I was like, I'm already in two hours of the movie. I'm not bored yet. This is amazing. So it it worked for me. The runtime did not bother me at all. And I, repeat viewings, I, I, I probably won't be bothered by it as multiple viewings I watch this film. 
And that's pretty much it. Overall, this is a fantastic film from start to finish. I highly recommend you checking this out on Netflix. This, to me, is like one of the best films of 2020. And in my book, The Five Bloods absolutely gets an A+. Woo! <sighs> Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about The Five Bloods. Did you like it or not? Let me know. And if you haven't seen it yet, I, like I said, check it out. Let me know. And let me know where's your favorite Spike Lee film. Let me know that in the comment section down below. Man, it's a toss-up. Uh, Malcolm X, do the right thing. Inside Man, what? Let me think. Uh, I'm probably going to say Malcolm X. That's one, one of my favorite Spike Lee films. But let me know in the comment section where's your favorite Spike Lee film. And that's pretty much it. And as always, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button for more future content. And that's all I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.